हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर ऑन डेटा एनक्रिप्शन स्टैंडर्ड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज डी ई एस दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू डिफाइन द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डी ई एस एल्गोरिदम आफ्टर विच वी विल फोकस ऑन द बिल्डिंग एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द डी ई एस एल्गोरिदम देन वी विल चेक आउट द राउंड इन विच हाउ द डी ई एस प्रोसेस इज द इनपुट इन टू आउटपुट एंड देन फाइनली वील परफॉर्म द एनालिसिस ऑफ डी ई so as an introduction first of all we will try to understand what is the meaning of the word des des like i said stands for data encryption standard and basically it is a symmetric key block cipher so what is the meaning of this symmetric key block cipher symmetric key ka matlab hota hai the same key is used for encryption as well as decryption aur block cipher ka matlab hota hai instead of considering only a single plain text for converting into super text we are going to create a combination of plain text that combination is called as a block and that entire group or that entire block of plain text is going to be sent for encryption so des mein symmetric key hota hai matlab usme ek single key hota hai jisse aap encryption aur decryption dono karne wale hain aur des ek block cipher hai iska matlab we are going to perform encryption on a group of bits on a block of bits एंड मैंने इसे बिट्स यर बिट्स का मतलब होता है अ स्ट्रिंग ऑफ वन सेन जीरो ओके सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर फ्यूचर रेफरेंस वेन एवर आई से बिट्स बिट्स मीन्स अ रेंज ऑफ वन एंड जीरो द ब्लॉक सिफर और द वर्किंग ऑफ द डी एस ब्लॉक सिफर इज नाउ राइट नाउ ऑन योर स्क्रीन वॉट यू कैन सी यर इज फोकस ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव द सिक्सटी फोर बिट प्लेन टेक्स विच इज सेंट एज एन इनपुट टू अवर डी एस सिफर and along with the plain text we are also going to send a 56 bit key so encryption mein aap 64 bit plain text aur 56 bit ka encryption karoge and the result that you get is going to be a 64 bit cipher text this is the cipher text that you will transmit to your receiver side on the receiver side the receiver will get the 64 bit cipher text and because this is a symmetric key encryption algorithm hence the same key will be used for decryption as well so the same 56 bit key is going to be sent for decryption and the result that you get is going to be your 64 bit plain text now for performing des encryption we are going to be performing two permutations and 16 rounds so what we have is in this algorithm the process go is going to go initial permutation followed by 16 rounds followed by final permutation when i say the word permutation it means swapping the positions of the bit changing the location of the bits so general structure of des is as shown on this diagram focus on the blue stars we are going to take the 64 bit plain text then we are going to take a 56 bit key and we are going to generate a 64 bit cipher text so the first star here indicates 64 bit plain text the second star here indicates the 56 bit of cipher key and the third star here indicates the 64 bit cipher text so the structure also talks about the first operation that you are going to perform which is called as initial permutation उसके बाद आप परफॉर्म करने वाले हो ये 16 नंबर ऑफ राउंड्स एंड फाइनली आप परफॉर्म करने वाले हो फाइनल परम्यूटेशन सो लेट्स फोकस राइट नाउ ऑन व्हाट इज इनिशियल परम्यूटेशन व्हाट इज फाइनल परम्यूटेशन एंड इन द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी विल लुक एट व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ईच ऑफ दिस राउंड फॉर परफॉर्मिंग इनिशियल परम्यूटेशन वॉट यू आर गोइंग टू हैव इज सिक्सटी फोर बिट प्लेन टेक्स तो यहाँ पे कॉर्नर में आप देख सकते हो अगर आपके पास चार बिट्स है वन जीरो वन जीरो दीज आर योर फोर बिट्स और आपको किसी ने बोला इनका परम्यूटेशन करो तो आप क्या करोगे यू विल चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ दीज बिट्स सो आउटपुट में आपको क्या मिलेगा वन वन जीरो जीरो फर्स्ट बिट यहाँ पे जो वन था वो मैंने यहाँ पे सेकेंड पोजिशन पे लाया है यहाँ पे जो जीरो था वो मैंने यहाँ पे लास्ट पोजिशन पे लाया है एंड सो ऑन सो वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज when i'm telling you to perform permutation all you have to do is you have to perform swapping of bits so the same thing is going to be performed here for initial permutation 64 bit of plain text will be arriving for initial permutation 1 to 64 and after performing initial uh, permutation the position of the bits is going to change as it is shown here in this yellow block 
राइट सो आफ्टर इनिशियल परम्यूटेशन आपके पास होगा सिक्सटी फोर बिट ऑफ प्लेन टेक्स्ट विच इज हैविंग स्वैप्ड पोजिशन वैल्यूज एंड ये आप इनपुट देने वाले हो फॉर राउंड नंबर वन विथ अ फोर्टी एट बिट की Let's talk about final permutation now. So, in case of final permutation, the output of round number sixteen is going to be sent as input to the final permutation, and the output of final permutation is going to be your sixty-four bit super text. So, यहाँ पे bottom में जो आपको ये yellow block दिख रहा है, उसको जो input आ रहा है ऊपर से, वो कहाँ से आया है? It has come as the output of round number sixteen. और इसका जो output है, it is simply the shuffled bit positions. Of these 64 bit input and finally आपको ये जो 64 bits मिल रहे हैं ये आपका final cipher text है जो आप receiver को transmit करने वाले हो. So what we are doing now is we are performing initial permutation. Then we will perform these 16 number of rounds and then finally we are going to perform a final permutation to generate our cipher text. Now DES makes use of 16 number of rounds. We are not going to study all 16 rounds because all of them are similar. So I will just explain to you the first round and then later on you can understand how all the remaining 15 rounds work. Step number one for round number one is you take the output of the initial permutation and divide it into two parts. So यहाँ पे मैंने दो parts में divide किया है मेरे 64 bit input को and those are my 32 bit left hand side and 32 bit right hand side. Now I am sending these 64 bits as an input to round number one along with a 48 bit key. So यहाँ पे मुझे finally क्या calculate करना है? मुझे इस round का output calculate करना है. Output भी 64 bits का ही होने वाला है. Output में भी दो parts होने वाले हैं. 32 bit left hand side and 32 bit right hand side. So I am taking my input for round number one, 32 bit LHS, 32 bit RHS, sending it as an input for round number one with a 48 bit key. And output is again going to be of 32 bit lhs as well as 32 bit rhs right so we will look into operations which are going to happen in each of these round the first operation is i want to calculate this 32 bits of my left hand side so how do i calculate them what is my input my input is of 64 bits i have divided into two parts 32 bit lhs as well as 32 bit rhs so simply i will take these 32 bit rhs from my input and send it as it is to my to my 32 bit output okay so rhs of input becomes the lhs of output as it is for example in the next slide you can see that i have 1010 dot 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 111 as the 32 bits of my input i am capturing them i am copying them as they are and pasting them at this output location and now i am done with my 32 bits of left hand side so maine output ka 32 bit calculate kar liya ab mujhe kya calculate karna hai output ka 32 bit right hand side so for the next step what i will do is i will take this same 32 bit rhs jo abhi just maine copy paste kiya tha wahi same bits mujhe rhs ke lene hain and i am going to send them as an input along with a 48 bit key to a mangler function okay this function f of ri minus 1 ki is called as a mangler function m a n g l e r so once i take this i send this input to the mangler function Mangler function is going to perform some operations and give me a result. The result is going to be again of 32 bits. Okay? So Mangler function को मैंने दो input दिए हैं क्या? RHS 32 bits का और key 48 bits की और Mangler function का output आता है 32 bits का again. In the next step, the output of this Mangler function is XOR. With 32 bit of left hand side. Remember that always in any XOR operation, both the inputs must be of the same length. So right now this is the condition which is satisfied here. 32 bit of left hand side is going to be XOR with 32 bit of output, and the result that I get is going to be again of 32 bits. This is the 32 bit output which is going to now become my new RHS. So new LHS तो मैंने पहले से calculate कर लिया था. और न्यू आर एच एस मैंने अब इस टेक्निक से कैलकुलेट कर लिया है नाउ दिस स्लाइड इज गोइंग टू गिव यू द ओवरऑल स्ट्रक्चर एंड द वर्किंग ऑफ द डीएस एल्गोरिदम सबसे पहले वी आर गोइंग टू टेक द 
right hand side bit of the input and send it to the left hand side of the output that is how we are going to find our 32 bits of my new output next i will take 32 bits from the right hand side and i will take 48 bits from the key send them as an input to my mangler function output of the mangler function is again going to be of 32 bits next i will send this 32 bit output as an input to the xor function and the next input to the xor function will come from the left hand side so lhs ke 32 bits and output of mangler function ke 32 bits are going to be xor obviously both of them must be of the same size and the output is going to be of 32 bits again which is going to become my new rhs of my output of round number 1 now this output of round 1 will be sent as input to round number 2 along with key 2 the process is going to continue 16 number of times So this was all about the DES algorithm. In the next lecture, we are going to talk about the DES Mangler function. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.